Hello my friends, today we are talking about magnetic compass. It's a very interesting device used for centuries or even millennia. This is magnetic compass, quite simple and old construction. But you can ask where is the magnets? And I can answer you, magnets are below the compass card. The compass card is aluminum disc graduated in degrees from 0 to 360. It is also shows the cardinal and intercardinal points. North is usually indicated by the fluid release figure in addition. But not always, like here you see this is not fluid release. And all of this construction is inside compass bowl. This is Quite a big container with a heavy weight below, but could be the glass in here, transparent if this is magnetic compass from the bridge. But usually part of the bottom make by glass. And you can see here the special place for the lamp. The other part of construction we see need is this. This screw is necessary to fill the magnetic compass with a special liquid anti-corrosive liquid which helps to make compass card floating and also why we need floating to reduce frictions between the compass card and construction of the compass. What other interesting parts you can find inside of the magnetic compass? First of all this is slubber line. You see one line in here and in front of the another line. This, these two lines strictly aligned with the direction of the keel of the ship. And finally, the compass ball is fixed in the dingbles. This is a metal rim with two pivots in which compass is placed, actually. And as you can see, the compass can make freely in the gimbals. The magnetic compass rests on the binnacle and what is most important, this is the concept, is that regardless of the movement of the ship, the compass card remains fixed, as you can see. The ship, the compass ball and the lava line move around the compass card. You see this. To the observer witnessing this relative motion, it appears that the compass card moves. But in fact, the ship is moves around compass card and compass card remains in the same position, pointing exactly to the north. And all this stuff is placed in the binnacle, which has the system of magnets to fight deviation. I suggest you not to touch these magnets unless you specially train, because it causes the major errors for the compass. What is important when using magnetic compass? Check. From time to time check the compass for the absence of air bulbs and refill liquid if necessary. In order to do this, turn compass upside down, open it, do it very very gently because the screw is made of very soft metal and slowly add liquid drop by drop. In order to reduce deviation, magnetic compass located at the upper bridge. Thus, it is fully open for the weather. Remember, it must be covered at all time and open it just for checking. But how to use it if the magnetic compass is in the upper bridge and you are in the navigational bridge? There is a periscope system formed for the upper bridge to the navigation room. It is fitted in front of the helmsman so he can see the course in the mirror. This is all for today. Of course, I wish you safe navigation and easy day ahead. Special thanks to the Whale Recruitment website for their opportunity to make this video. WhaleRecruitment.com This is the best job portal for the seafarers if you want to, to find the job easily. Just upload your application to the WhaleRecruitment.com